So in the span of just one week, Bernie Sanders has already proposed sweeping criminal justice reform as well as a plan to save and expand union membership. But on top of that, he has just proposed a fully fleshed out version of the Green New Deal, which would create 20 million new jobs and potentially avert a climate crisis. Now, this comes with a hefty price tag, but the best part about this is that it would fully pay for itself within 15 years, because let me remind you, this is an investment. Now, there's going to be a little bit of confusion because people will say, but I thought that AOC and Ed Marquis already proposed a Green New Deal. That's correct. But the Green New Deal is not a specific set of policy prescriptions. It's essentially an empty slate. It's a resolution that says these are our goals, which is why there's so many, you know, corporate Democrats like Amy Klobuchar who are supporting the Green New Deal because there's nothing specific about it just yet. All it says is we need to meet the IPCC's deadline in order to avert a climate crisis. So what Bernie Sanders did was he filled in all the blanks of the Green New Deal. And what he came up with is absolutely comprehensive. It's so thorough and bold that the Rolling Stones' Ryan Board asks if he is the new climate change candidate since Jay Inslee has officially ended his campaign. And here's why Bernie's plan is so special, according to Board. Dubbing the plan as his version of the Green New Deal, Sanders wants America's electrical and transportation systems to be powered exclusively by renewable energy by 2030 and for America to be totally decarbonized by 2050. The plan calls for a 16.3 trillion public investment to make this happen, which Sanders says will pay for itself in only 15 years, partially through tax revenue generated from the 20 million new jobs the plan would create. To help kick the plan into gear, Sanders would take executive action to declare the climate crisis a national emergency. Sanders' plan distinguishes itself in how aggressively it targets the fossil fuel industry. Not only does it call for hiking up taxes and penalties on polluters, it taps the Justice Department to pursue litigation against them. They have evaded taxes, desecrated tribal lands, exploited workers, and poisoned communities. The plan reads, President Bernie Sanders will ensure that his Department of Justice and Securities and Exchange Commission investigate these companies and bring suits, both criminal and civil, for any wrongdoing, just as the federal government did with the tobacco industry in the 1980s. So that's just kind of a broad overview of the plan, but um, let's really dive a little bit deeper because this is really comprehensive and I can't possibly go over everything, but I will link to the full plan down below and encourage you to read it because this is... He's thought of everything. This is a plan to mitigate further damage caused by climate change, but it also equip equips us with the tools needed to adapt because climate change is already here. Climate change is a reality, so we need to make sure that we are able to adapt. And um, this plan, it really is comprehensive. Bernie thought of everything. So the goal here is to reach 100% renewable energy for electricity and transportation by no later then 2030 and completely decarbonized by 2050. So this would meet the IPCC's 12 year deadline. And he makes that crystal clear. He would end unemployment by creating 20 million jobs to address the climate crisis. These will be good paying union jobs with strong benefits and safety standards in steel and auto manufacturing, construction, energy efficiency, retrofitting, coating and server farms, and renewable power plants directly invest an historic 16.3 trillion in public investment towards these efforts in line with the mobilization of resources made during the new deal and world war ii but with an explicit choice to include black indigenous and other minority communities who are systematically excluded in the past a just transition for workers so anyone who's in the fossil fuel industry who have been powering our economy will not be left behind. They will have new jobs because that's what the Green New Deal will provide. Declare climate change a national emergency. He can do this with the stroke of a pen, saving American families money by weatherizing homes and lowering energy bills, building affordable and high quality modern public transportation, um, supporting small family farms by investing in ecologically and regenerative and sustainable agriculture. Justice for frontline communities. This is incredibly important and forward thinking, especially under-resourced groups, communities of color, Native Americans, people with disabilities, children, and 
the elderly to recover from and prepare for the climate impacts and including through a 40 billion climate justice resiliency fund commit to reducing emissions throughout the world including providing 200 billion to the green climate fund rejoining the paris climate agreement and reasserting the united states's leadership in the global fight against climate change meeting and exceeding our fair share of global emissions reductions making massive investments in research and development investing in conservation and public lands to heal our soils forests and prairie lands so he's going to not only transform our economy to a green economy invest make us a world leader but he's also making sure that smaller underdeveloped countries can catch up we're going to have that fun and that's really important so when we did the montreal protocol um that was important and it was successful we basically closed the hole in our ozone layer because we did something like this we provided a fund for smaller countries that just don't have the resources to invest and do what we're able to do so this fund is really important because they're going to say look you know this is going to be costly and we just we can't afford to invest like you're investing that's why we have this fund this is important this is leadership this could potentially save the planet like the scope of this is just so broad that when I read through this, I got chills. Now again, the number one complaint will be, it's going to cost $16.3 trillion. Really, Bernie? So before you complain, if you're conservative or if you're a shit-lib neoliberal, it pays for itself. Quote, experts have scored the plan and its economic effects. We will pay for the massive investment we need to reverse the climate crisis by making the fossil fuel industry pay for their pollution through litigation fees and taxes and eliminating federal fossil fuel subsidies, generating revenue from the wholesale of energy produced by the regional power marketing authorities. Revenues will be collected from 2023 through 2035 and after 2035 electricity will be virtually free aside from operations and maintenance costs scaling back military spending on maintaining global oil dependence collecting new income tax revenue from the 20 million new jobs created by the plan reduced need for federal and state safety net spending due to the creation of millions of good paying unionized jobs making the wealthy and large corporations pay their fair share so as i read this i feel hopeful i feel like this is everything that we've needed this is everything that we've asked for and hoped for and Kanye Ala Ng put it best this is it this is everything this is what it'll take to save the world thank you senator bernie sanders and he is a former congressional candidate from hawaii so look bernie sanders is the real deal this election is a no-brainer this is a no-brainer if you want to save the economy and the planet vote for bernie sanders if you know someone in your family who is voting for joe biden because they've been duped by the mainstream media and the elites to believe that he's more electable. Tell them the truth. That Bernie Sanders is our best bet, not only against Trump, but against the climate crisis that we're facing. I mean, the scale of this is so huge, it really can't be overstated. So this is what politicians who support the Green New Deal should be doing. This is the most comprehensive climate change proposal of any candidate just based on my reading now certainly i'll have to wait you know to give my full judgment because i want to take into account scoring from the sierra club and uh, other green organizations environmental clubs and whatnot but just based on this this is absolutely huge and it's exactly what not just america needs but the planet needs bernie sanders can literally save the planet if we just elect him this is easy not even a decision. The only real choice in 2020 is Bernie. Let's not make the mistake that we did in 2016, guys. Let's elect Bernie.